Hi, welcome to Shruti Lakshmi Spiritual Classroom. Today we are going to see problems on trains. Part 1 There are different scenarios on train problems. These are the four main types of problems on trains. The first one is when two trains are moving in parallel or opposite directions or same directions. And then like when a train is crossing an object like a pole, man or tree. These objects are considered as point objects. And when like a train is crossing an object like a bridge, tunnel or platform. These objects are considered as given length projects. Because when you see a problem that a train crosses a bridge, tunnel or platform, whichever the train crosses, they will give you the length of the bridge, tunnel or platform. So that's why they are considered as the given length objects. Today we are going to focus on trains moving in opposite directions. As you see, the, these two trains are moving in opposite direction. This train is moving right and this train is moving left. And the length of the first train is considered as L1 and the length of the second train is considered as L2. And the first train speed is considered as S1 and the second train speed is considered as S2. The time is distance divided by speed. They will give you two of, of the three and tell you to find the third. For example, they could give the speed and the distance and tell you to find the time. And they will give you the time and the speed and tell you to give find the distance and more. The distance is the length of both the trains. The time the train takes to cross each other is, is the time both the train takes to cover each other's length. length. So the relative distance is, is sum of the length of the trains running in opposite direction in this case the first the first train's length is 100 meter and the second train's length is 200 meter so the relative distance is 300 meters so the relative distance is 300 meters and the relative speed of both the trains will be the sum of the speeds of the train running in opposite direction. Now for the speed which is S1 plus S2 we add them up. So 50 meter per second plus 40 meter per second. 50 plus 40 is 90 so 90 meter per second. So 300 meter divided by 90 meter per second. Let's see some problems for better understanding. Problem number one. Two trains are of length 75 meters and 85 meters are running at the speed of 80 kilometers per hour and 64 kilometers per hour on parallel tracks in opposite directions. In what time will they cross each other completely? In this figure over here, this is the first train and this is the second train. The first train is running at 80 km per hour and has a length of 75 meters. And the, se and the second train is running at 64 km per hour and has a length of 85 meters. As you see in this picture, they are facing towards each other. And the question says, in what time will they cross each other completely? So, in what time will they cross each other completely? When they cross each other completely, both, both of the trains ends will meet each other. Like this, as, as in this picture. That's when they will cross each other completely. It says, in what time will they cross each other completely? So, we have to find how much time it will take for both the trains to cross each other completely or meet the both meet both their ends the first train's length is 75 meters and the second train's length is 85 meters 
to find the comp to find the relative distance we have to do l1 plus l2 so 75 plus 85 75 plus 85 is 75 plus 85 is 160 meters now we have to find the relative relative speed the first train speed is 80 km per hour and the second train speed is 64 km per hour now we have to add 80 km per hour plus 64 km per hour which gives us s1 plus s2 so 80 plus 64 is 144 km per hour in the question it says in what time will they cross each other completely now we have to find the time in the relative distance it's 160 meters and in the relative speed it's 144 kilometers per hour we have to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second when do we convert kilometer per hour to meter per seconds multiply 5 by 18 so we do 144 times 5 by 18 meter per second which is 40 meter per second so the speed of the train is 40 meter per second time is distance by divided by speed time taken by the two trains to cross each other is sum of lengths of sum of length of train divided by relative speed of train the sum of length of train is 160 meters and the relative speed of the trains is 40 meter per second so the time is 160 divided by 40 which is 40 so it will take 40 seconds for both trains to cross each other completely or meet each other's end like this let's see one more example two trains 163 meter and 187 meter long are running on parallel tracks in the opposite directions with the speed of 47 kilometer per hour and 43 kilometer per hour how long will it take to cross each other The first train's length is L1, which is 163 meters long. And the second train's length is 187 meters long. Now we have to add L1 plus L2, which is 163 plus 187 to find, to find the sum of the length of trains. 163 plus 187 meter is 350 meters. The first train speed is 47 km per hour and the second train speed is 43 km per hour. To find the relative speed of the train, we add 47 plus 43 which is 90 km per hour. Now, now, since the sum of the length of train is 350 meters and the relative speed of the train is 90 kilometers per hour, we have to uh, convert kilometer per hour to meter per second. So we do 90 into 5 by 18 meter per second, which is 25 meter per second. So the relative speed is 25 meter per second. Now we have to find the time. Time is distance divided by speed. Time taken by the two trains to cross each other is the time. The sum of length of trains is 350 meters and the relative speed of the train is 25 meters per second. To find the time, we do 350 divided by 25, which is 14. So take 14 seconds for the trains to cross each other completely thanks for watching